Hello. It's nearly 6.30 according to the clock and welcome to a very special Easter edition of Andy's Shed Live. Hello there everybody and how are you and welcome to a brand new Easter edition of Andy's Shed Live. We thought we'd do something a little bit different this week in that we show you some of the uh, latest projects and latest things that uh, that I have been up to. And um, one of the things that I've been up to, if you've seen one of my other videos, is uh, I've been painting, but not any old kind of painting. Here's what I've been doing. I've been painting canalware. And uh, here's a tin box that I've uh, recently completed with the uh, roses and daisies and things so this is one of the projects now I have got another video out there on the channel that is a uh, canal wear painting for beginners where I just do red roses um, but as you can see this is far more involved than that because it's got all multicolored and different flowers and things on it and if we look on the ends there's other designs and things on there as well but this is an old tin box that I got from the uh, from the auctions it was painted silver by somebody you can see it's still silver on the inside but uh, I've done it in the uh, traditional canalware style so this is what I've been up to for a few months in me uh, in my spare time and uh, I'm quite pleased with the way it's turned out that and here's another one um, underneath here that I've uh, I've still got to do this is another old tin trunk um, that I've still got to uh, got to complete so that's uh, that's some of what I've been what I've been up to over the uh, over the last uh, the last few weeks and things for those of you that have been asking me um, another thing that I say I went to the auctions and you can see there's a load of clocks behind me I got some of those from the auctions but when it comes to clocks this one that I'm about to show you has to be a classic yeah it's a grandfather clock I don't know if you can see that it, um, but yeah I got this uh, from the auction and it's about to strike the half hour any uh, any minute now but yeah, this uh, this came from uh, from an auction. The grand total of thirty pound was spent on this. I think it was one of the best buys ever. It's not mega old. It's maybe twenty or thirty year old at most, um, but it is very nice. has a has a lovely tick to it, and it is a proper wind up clock. It doesn't have batteries. It's not electric or anything like that. This is a proper. Uh, wind up uh, clock and I'm just waiting for it to strike it's going to do it any minute now so I'm, uh, I'm just kind of waiting for it there you go it's striking the half hour there for you and I can actually take the side off this and show you inside it I'm hoping I can do it anyway with sort of one handed yeah, I can. There we go. I can take that off. And there you go. That's what's inside one of these. Watch out for a video coming soon. All about maintaining and repairing traditional clockwork mechanisms. Because that will be... Uh, will be coming up quite soon so that's one of the things that uh, another one of the things that I've been up to I'll put the side back on there it sort of slots in somehow like that and that's it but while we're talking clocks um, I've got a few mantle clocks as well if you want to have a look at those here we go, there's a, a Smith's mantle clock. These are wanting a bit of work doing on them at the moment. This one, obviously, um, oh, that's dinging as well now. Um, this one, obviously, has got no glass on the front. I have got the uh, 
the bit that goes around here, the bezel thing, somewhere here behind it, I think. There's the there's the bezel that goes on the that goes on the front of it, but it's got no glass in it. So when I got it, the glass was broken. So I'm at the moment trying to source a piece of glass which is which is beveled, of course, um, that is the right size to fit that. Ignore the clock in the middle. That's a, that's a modern uh, a modern battery clock. But here's another one that uh, we're working on as well at the moment. This one doesn't chime. But this one is just being set up at the minute. It takes a long time to set them up to get them running at the right speed. So that one's just sat there being set up at the moment to try and get it to try and get it running at the right speed so that uh, it keeps good time. So that's why the three clocks there all side by side because we're uh, just trying to get them going. And uh, there are other clocks here as well, but that's for another day to tell you about. Right, we're going we're going to move now out of this brilliant sunlight. Hasn't it been a fantastic Easter? Probably one of the warmest Easter's that I've uh, that I've ever known. Um, I've been out for the last couple of days at uh, Cromford Mill uh, with stationary engines, which are still in the back of the car, um, and. That door's locked. I need to unlock that door. Um, so yeah, we've been uh, we've been there at Cromford Mill um, for the last two days with the stationary engine. So if you were there, hello, um, and we'll be back there again in a couple of weeks' time on the May Day Bank Holiday Monday. So if you want to see us with the stationary engines, come along to Cromford Mill May Day Bank Holiday Monday, and you should see me and one or two others there. Right, I am now going through another door to show you another project that we're working on because it's not just clocks that we do it's not just telephones because I do get I do get people sometimes who say no you only do telephones don't you well just to prove that I don't this episode just proves that I don't here's another project that we're working on at the minute um, a vintage Singer sewing machine um, this came in a few days ago I was given this a few days ago I've got one or two of these old vintage Singer sewing machines this one dates from about 1902 or 1903 i think so it's well over a hundred years old now um for any of you who want to work it out get online and work it out there's the the number on it s1075971 if you want to uh if you want to work out the exact age because there are lists online just google Singer sewing machine dating and you'll find websites with lists of numbers on that tell you exactly how old they are but I think this is about 1902 or 1903 from memory and uh, surprisingly it actually kind of moves it uh, it you know it's uh, it sort of goes up and down and everything is uh, is more or less as it should be but it is a bit broken um, if you look in the end here, you'll see a broken bit there, which is where the handle should fit for it. I've got the handle somewhere. I don't know where the handle's gone at the moment. Oh, it's there. Um, but the handle should fit in there like that, the handle for it. But there's a bit of the casting broken there. So if you've got one of these little bits that goes in the end of a single sewing machine, to fit the handle onto, I'd uh, I'd quite like to hear from you because I'm I'm looking for one of those. It's uh, it's holding the restoration of this machine up. That is, um, but I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with this as it stands at the moment. Um, there's a fair bit of damage to it, as you can see, just through age. Um, these things are transfers that are put on. The, the things are painted black, they're done with a kind of black lacquer. Then a transfer is put on, and then they kind of varnish over the top of them. But what it actually is, what they put over the top, is shellac. And the shellac uh, goes funny with age, as you can see. And I'm not quite sure whether to take all the shellac off of this, which you can do almost with your fingers. <laughs> But I'm told that if you put new shellac on, 
it will kind of reinvigorate the old. It kind of melts the old into it and and you can get away with it. So I'm undecided because the transfers are a bit damaged. That one's not too bad, but obviously these have completely gone around the edge of here. So I'm not quite sure whether to try and conserve what's there or whether to strip it and completely redo it and and um, get reproduction transfers and put onto it because uh, that is something that I might do. I might uh, get reproduction transfers and uh, completely restore it. I'm also missing this little slidey plate thing. That half's here, but this half isn't. So if you've got one of those plates or one of these bits that go in the end here, um, I'd like to hear from you, please. Um, of course, you could help with the restoration of this uh, old Singer sewing machine. And while we're here, obviously, there are a few telephones on the workbench as well. Um, having work done to them. So, as you can see, we've got quite a few things there, quite a few projects that are on the go at the moment. Um, so, yeah, that's that's it. That's what I've been up to when I've not been out and about with uh, with stationary engines and things. Oh, we've got another one here as well. I just thought I'd show you just one more thing that's in. Uh, is this uh, is this tilly lamp that's uh, that's also in for restoration? Um, it works. This one we've had this one on test, trying it out, and uh, it is a it is a good lamp. It does work, um, but it just needs a clean up and things basically. So that's another thing that is uh, that is in at the moment. So, as you can see, quite a few things are uh, being restored here right now. Um, quite a lot is uh, is happening. Right, we'll we'll move on a bit further, shall we? And go back to where we where we normally are, the more familiar surroundings that uh, that we've got here. There, there. Does that look a bit more normal? Um, where we usually are um yeah so that is uh, is about it for this week um thanks for watching what has been quite a short and hastily put together show because it's only about half an hour since i got back from cromford mill um no show next week we're, we're off next week because next week um Oh no, sorry, there is a show next week. There is, a sh there is a show next week. We're here next week and then we're off in a fortnight because we're at Heed Windmill for their spring track today. So if you want to get, if you're in the Derbyshire area and you fancy getting a, a day out, Heed Windmill, um, two weeks today um, on the Sunday, their spring track today. It's well worth a visit if you're into classic tractors, vintage cars and, and uh, or... A beautiful old windmill, if you just want to go and see that. That is well worth a visit just to see that. That's a fortnight today. If you go along to that, come along and say hello. I'll be there with a the stationary engine at that. Um, so until next week, have a great week. And what projects have you been up to? Let us know in the comments below. I do try to reply to all the comments that we get. Also, if you want to get in touch with us, get onto the website. It is andyshed.com callpress.net that's andyshed.callpress.net and you'll find a contact us form on there um so thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed it we will be back next week we're a full uh, andy shed live back a bit more to normal i think next week um but in the meantime as i say let us know in the comments below what you've been up to and uh, we'll see you next time from me for now bye